Does a crossbow remain accurate if it is cocked and left cocked for like four hours over a period of time? This is a question I get from time to time on Death by Bungie on my either social media and Facebook or here on YouTube. And I love having these conversations with people. Over time, my answer has always been, well, they must because I keep killing deer with them and I've sat in a tree stand for as long as 12 hours before without uncocking the crossbow. I'm not suggesting everyone should do that, but I'm just telling you from my experience that has happened on at least one occasion. Shot a nice doe on my cousin's place once just outside the apple orchard. And I got there before the sun came up. That video is available here on YouTube. You can watch it here. But I got there before the sun came up. I sat all day. It wasn't until the middle of the afternoon, about 12 12 hours later when that deer showed up. Crossbow was deadly accurate, so they must, right? They must stay accurate. These crossbows, I will say that generally speaking, I can't speak for every crossbow because obviously I don't have experience. I haven't shot every crossbow out there. I've shot very few, as a matter of fact, despite the fact that I've been into crossbow hunting now for over 10 years and I've been doing these videos. I've got over 400 videos on the YouTube channel. A lot of them are pretty much just about crossbow hunting. I love this stuff. I talk to people every day about crossbows and crossbow hunting. Very important to me. So important, in fact, that I wrote a book about this. The Death by Bungie Crossbow Story. <laughs> Confessions of a Crossbow Hunter. I'm going to talk about this throughout the entire Crossbow Appreciation Month because I am very proud of this book. I worked very hard on this. And it is the first book, hopefully the first of many, that I will write on this subject because I'm very excited about this. In fact, this trophy room, my wife and I bought a house that has a trophy room just so I can talk about crossbows, just so I can sit here and make lots and lots more videos for you, friends of Bungie. I hope you appreciate it and I hope you buy a copy of that book. I'm pretty proud of it and I think it's a good story. I think it's a good book. I think everybody will get something out of that book. Where was I again? <laughs> that's right, we're talking about crossbows, right? Because that's what we do on Death by Bungie. So over time, I've gotten this question quite a few times. Does it stay accurate if it's been cocked over that period of time? And my answer generally is they must because they're designed to be held cocked over a period of time. They're designed so that you can safely sit in a tree stand awaiting your prey, awaiting your animal to come in so that you can take a shot and be certain, be confident that that shot's going to go where you want it to go. The materials that they used to make these crossbows never cease to amaze me. They are just incredible because they sit through, hot. I've shot deer in hot temperatures when it's 100 degrees, just about. I've shot deer when it was 10 degrees. And I've been drinking this little can of Diet Pepsi. And I went to pick it up and get a drink of it and it's frozen. <laughs> and I've shot the crossbow at below zero this is all Fahrenheit, by the way. But I've shot deer in this, and I've shot the crossbow at targets in this wide range of temperatures, and they tend to hold their accuracy pretty good. Now, that's not true of all crossbows. Remember last year, Ron Fazio, friend of Bungie, who joined us for the first ever Death by Bungie meet and greet, and meet is spelled M-E-A-T. He joined us for that event, and when I interviewed him about his crossbow, he was explaining how his crossbow, and you'll have to go watch that video and hear it from him. I don't want to speak for him, but in his experience, temperature made a little bit of difference with accuracy. Um, when the temperature drops like that, and it's not just a couple of millimeters, it's it's measured in inches, four inches or more. And I Just to be sure, however, that my crossbow and Genevieve's crossbow are accurate after being cocked for four hours or so, we actually ran a little bit of a test. We cocked both of the crossbows, left them in the shade. You certainly don't want to leave them in the sun for four hours, that's for sure. But we left them outside in that same temperature outdoors in the shade, cocked for four hours. Then we came inside here and we pulled all the tape off and got this room ready to make these videos. How awesome is that? We went around and peeled off all the tape, which took us about four hours, and worked our fingers to the bone. The tape didn't want to come off. We got all that stuff done, though, cleaned this room up, and then we went down and shot the crossbows. And I shot both of them, personally, 
just to make sure it was the same person shooting, because this is our scientific test. <laughs> but we fired both of the crossbows. I can tell you Bungie Jr. was a little bit high. Bungie. Bungie was a little bit low. The deviation, a little bit high, a little bit low, that inch, inch and a half, two inches, whatever it was, that can be explained probably by the fact that I was in here working and I was pretty sweaty and hot by the time we went out there and shot those. Bungie Jr. also has a new string on it, so that might affect the accuracy as well. We might have suffered a little bit of string creep by leaving it cocked for four hours. It's possible that that helps that string stretch a little bit and that that will affect the accuracy as well. But in the end, both of them pretty solid. Neither of them were very far off. Both of them would have killed whatever we shot at without any problem. So I'm not worried about that at all. They both held their accuracy pretty consistently. To the extent that this test is helpful, these two crossbows at least maintain their accuracy very well after being cocked for four hours. I hope that helps. Is this a test that you should run with your crossbow? Maybe. I would read up on your crossbow and make sure that your manufacturer does not have some kind of limitation on how long that crossbow can remain cocked. Different crossbows are designed differently and they may actually have that sort of a consideration, that sort of limitation. I don't know. But to me, one of the advantages of crossbow hunting is the ability to have that weapon cocked, ready to fire, long before your quarry shows up. When that target animal shows up, it might be four hours, it might be 30 minutes, it might be 12 hours before that animal shows up, and that's when that crossbow needs to be ready to take a shot, and it needs to perform dependably. So look that up with your manufacturer, make sure you're comfortable with that, and then also, if you feel comfortable doing it, do that test. Don't leave your crossbow in the sun. Leave it in the shade, but at the same temperature, and see if it performs for you after being cocked for a period of time. That way you'll have a little bit more confidence when you head out into the field this year during your crossbow season. I hope you got something out of this video for Crossbow Appreciation Month. I hope you'll tune in for future videos, Crossbow Appreciation Month. Don't forget the live streams, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Death by Bungie. I'll be live streaming throughout Crossbow Appreciation Month. And in fact, if I don't do a live stream, we might be doing a Zoom and shooting in the backyard. That's another little plan that I have coming up here in Crossbow Appreciation Month. I will share that with you very soon. Until next time, all hail Bungie. <laughs>